The Tower of London, November 2014, where 888,246 ceramic poppies encircle this iconic landmark to mark the centenary of the Great War. Each poppy represents a British military fatality during that war. It's difficult to imagine the scale of losses, but let me put it another way. If the bodies of those killed on our side alone were put head to toe, the line would stretch from Bolton to London and back, and back to London and back to Bolton again. They would stretch for nearly 900 miles. Over the past few months, over five million people have come here to pay their respects to those who gave their lives fighting for their country 100 years ago. There's a poppy for each of those who were killed. A truly remarkable sight, which helps to bring home the scale of the sacrifice made by our ancestors all those years ago. Somewhere down there, there's a poppy for 19-year-old John Sutcliffe of West Horton, who died in October 1915, having been sent out to fight only a fortnight earlier. And Private John Critchlow, who also died in October, aged 19, who was formerly employed by the West Horton Coal and Cannel Company. and Private Fred Clough, aged 21, who was in the machine gun section of the 8th King's Own Royal Lancashire Regiment, when he fell in a gallant and successful charge near Ypres. So too did Private Calloway, lovingly remembered today. It seems fitting that this Rose of Peace now overlooks the poppies below. A truly amazing sight and one that I shall never forget. At the London Cenotaph in Whitehall, wreaths were laid by Her Majesty the Queen, our Prime Minister David Cameron and many other civic dignitaries. Crosses were also placed at the cenotaph, just as they were at other memorials around the country, where wreaths too were laid by civic dignitaries and local organisations. <laughs>